What's up guys, it's Brayden from Illumination Go, and today we're going to be doing the second part of this voice bot. We're going to be doing voice recognition so you can talk to the program and it will respond back to you. So first we're going to want to go up here and do, actually first, we're going to want to add using system.speech.recognition. This whole line needs to be put in, in the using area. Speech.recognition, last episode. We added synthesis, now we're adding recognition. So let's do choices. List is equal to new choices. Okay. Then we're going to do speech recognition engine. S, or not S, we were already using S. Rec is equal to new speech recognition engine. So once we have that all move down the list. Let's go ahead and find, so right here is where we're going to specify all of the different commands we'll add. Let's do list.add new string. We're going to make it one of these. And do this and we're going to do hello. How are you? And then we're just going to do what time is it? Or we don't need to do what time is That's a little bit more advanced. We'll just start with hello and how are you. And that. Okay. Then under here we're going to do grammar. GR is equal to new grammar. Then we're going to do new grammar builder list. that okay so that should look like that and then this is the hardest part in my opinion we're gonna do try we're gonna open that up and we're gonna do rec dot request update okay then we're gonna do rec dot load grammar and we're just gonna go in there and put GR for our grammar class up here. This line, GR. So we're loading the grammar into the recognition engine. And then we're going to do rec.speech recognized plus equals rec underscore speech recognized. Recognize that. Then we're going to go ahead and click here. Click here. We're going to generate the stub. So that's there. We do not need that. And now we're going to go in here. And let's do rec. Dot set input. to default audio device and add that and then we, the last thing we do is rec dot rec recognize async then we can do recognize mode recognize mode dot multiple So basically what that does is just lets it, so once you say something, it can reset and you can say something again. So that is mostly the hard part. So what I like to do right here is I do public void say. And up here we're going to do string h. I use h because it's the easiest key to press on the keyboard. Lazy like that. And we're going to do s.speak. And then we're just going to go ahead and say our string, which is H. Then we can have it log it somewhere too, if we really, really wanted to. Now in here, we're going to do string R, oops, R is equal to E dot result dot text. Okay. Now we're going to do if. 
r equals to hello, but we can start off with hello. Then we're going to say hi. So when you say when you say hello, it's going to respond with hi. Let's just say what you say. It says. So using this basic template, we should be able to create the other one for how are you. Um, the other one says how are you. So we're going to make this say great, how are you? Great, or not that. How are you? So when you say how are you, it's going to say great and you you don't need these but it makes it talk in a different tone so once we have those let's double check and make sure we have everything here yeah pretty sure oops we might want to add the catch catch and we're just gonna return. So we added that underneath that. So now, no errors, let's start it up. Hello, my name is VoiceBot. So now I'm gonna say hello. Hello. How are you? Great, and you? So both of them worked, except I made this capital right here so it doesn't know what happens when I say something in capital? So these always have to be in lowercase. Hello. So I say, my name is VoiceBot. Hi. Hello. Hi. So now when I say hello, it says hi back. And I say, how are you? It says, great. And you? And you could go advance and add another one of these for when you say great. And it says, good. Nice to hear that or something like that. But that's for you. These are basically the building blocks for what you can do with the program. So thank you for watching. In the next episode, we'll add getting the weather, getting the time, getting news, getting all those fun little annoying things. So yeah.